it's time now to do the ears we start with the lighter color yarn for the inner ears and for the first row we have six single crochets into a magic ring Let's close the circle and go ahead to our second round. On second row we have an increase in each stitch around, so six increases. Use a stitch marker to mark the beginning of the row. This is the first single crochet, I will do another one into the same stitch so I have my increase. Repeat that 5 more times. By the end of the round you will have 12 stitches, 12 single crochets. In case you haven't pushed that bell yet, please remember to do so, so subscribe to our channel to be updated when we add a new video. And if you get the chance, please hit the like button, so I know I'm doing a good job. We finished second row, we can now go to our third. Let me cut this remaining tail. On third row we have one single crochet into the next stitch and increase into the other. Repeat that six times. So I had one single crochet, now the increase and I'm repeating it. One single crochet and increase into the next one. Do this four more times and at the end of the round make a slip stitch you should have 18 single crochets by the end of third row which is actually the last for the inner ear let's make the slip stitch and that's it for the first inner ear. You don't need to leave a long tail. So this is the first one. We need to make one more. I would also like to, to remember everyone that this is a Toy Smugglers video and I would like that I would like to keep it that way. I have seen some some people just like to steal somebody else's work and take advantage of it. So this is our work. It's a toy smuggler's video. For the second inner year, I've speeded it all up because basically it's the same pattern as the first one. You need to do it uh, uh, the same. Okay, now I've slip stitched and we have the second inner ear. We can go ahead and work on the outer ear. Outer ears, sorry, they are two. We grab the darker color yarn and start again with the magic circle and six single crochets into it. One, two, three, four, five, and six.
On second round, we have six increases into each stitch around. So I've started my first one. This is my first increase. Let me do five more. By the end of the round, you will have 12 single crochets. On third row, we have one single crochet and one increase into the next stitch. Repeat that six times. I've, did, I've done my first one. Let me cut this remaining yarn tail and continue with an increase. And in here I have an increase. Uh, I have to do this five more times. By the end of the round, you will have 18 stitches. After finishing the third row, we can go ahead and work on the outline of the ear. So that means we get the inner ear and the outer ear together and crochet all around. So this is my 18th single crochet my 18 stitch now get the other part the 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 inner part place them together with the wrong side facing each other let's do 18 single crochets through both layers of the inner and outer ear so place them together go into the first single crochet first stitch and into one of the stitches of the inner ear and have one single crochet the first one and we need to do this 17 more times this is my second so go into the next stitch on the outer ear and a stitch of the inner ear and have a single crochet through both of the layers this is how it looks like let me continue I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let me cut this remaining yarn tail. And continue working on the outline of the first ear This is how my first ear looks like. 
You need to leave a long tail for sewing onto the head. We shall do the same thing for the second one. So I will speed up the process because it's the same thing. I must add that I love this monkey. Basically now I'm doing the outline of the second year. And after we finish with it, we can go ahead and sew them onto the head. both of them are ready and this is how it should look like I just love this happy face I know blue is not the best color for a monkey but I just like mine now let's sew, sew them on onto the head You can use pins if it's easier for you to place them in a spot where you like to sew them. I will just count some rows. So from the lighter color yarn I will do three, three stitches distance and then start to sew it on. This is pretty much it for the first one.
I like to leave the tail over there because I like to make a knot after finishing with the sew of the second year to make a knot between those two yarn tails so that's what I do to secure to secure my work now let me look and count the stitches so I do the same thing on the other side so three rounds from the back from down there or more on the upper side I hope I'm not making it too confusing Oh yes, I think I'm happy with what I've done. Let me finish sewing it. And then we can go ahead and work on the body on our next video. I would like to add the fact that I upload a video weekly on Fridays, but I might upload more on the weekdays. What's for sure is that on Friday, each Friday, I upload a new video, but I might choose some other days when I have more content. On the next video, as I said before, you will, you will learn how to do the body of this monkey. I am super curious curious how was color changing for you and if you like how your head looks like how your pocket monkey's head looks like So that's it. Woohoo! I like your ready little one. Have a good day everyone.